what are these top notes? The first one is credit cards. What? Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna be trying one of the strangest fragrances I have ever seen. In this video, I have managed to get myself a bottle of this strange fragrance. We are gonna be trying it out. Just before we do though, guys, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to drop a like on this video. Please don't forget to get around and subscribe as well if you're a fan of fragrances. We're in a great community and we'd be more than happy to have you. So, like I said, uh, we have got a bottle. Actually, I did lie. We have not got a bottle. We've got the next best thing because I looked online and this thing was sold out everywhere. I could not find it. So I got the next best thing and I actually did manage to get myself uh, a small decant and it's arrived here. And I'm not going to lie, I'm surprised this got to me in uh, safe order because the packaging of this thing uh, the person who decanted this did a terrible job. They just put it in this little mailer by here and the, it's still got the bubble wrap on it. And I'm surprised that they actually managed to get this fragrance to me in one piece. If you didn't know, I have got a decanting course. It teaches you step by step how to decant fragrances and uh, they definitely didn't follow it. So uh, minus one for the packaging. What we are interested in though is this here, the actual juice in this fragrance. I don't think I've actually talked about this fragrance yet. Uh, it's called Anarchist A by Toscavat. And by the looks of things, Toscavat is like an indie sort of niche house that focus mainly on like weird and strange notes. Like I saw one of their fragrances that has got the note of uh, strawberries, bubble gum, and then tires, rubber, and oil. Like <laughs> who mixes those things together? So this fragrance, Anarchist A, looked like the weirdest one. Uh, that I saw out of out of the entire line that uh, Toscavat do. And I thought, look, I'm going to give this thing a try. I'm going to see how the notes manage to like mix themselves together and what the fragrance actually ends up smelling like. Because it, as you'll find out in this video, it's very strange notes. And I wanted to get my first impressions and let you know if you should even bother getting this thing because of how strange it is. So Anarchist A, the fragrance that we are talking about in this video, the strangest fragrance in the world. So this fragrance on Fragantica is listed as an aromatic fragrance for men and for women. So potentially this thing is unisex. It's listed as a woody aromatic fragrance. It was launched in 2022. The perfumer behind this fragrance is someone I've actually not heard of before. Their name, I'm sorry that I'm gonna pronounce this completely wrong, is David Lev Zippa Slavinci, or Slavinci. I don't know, I probably said that completely wrong. So that is the perfumer for this fragrance. And there was actually quite a lot of hype on this fragrance. The reason why I know about it is because I'm in a few like Reddit forums, I'm in a few Facebook groups, and I just follow general fragrance pages. Uh, and the occasional time I go on TikTok, I hardly ever do, uh, is mainly just to actually upload content onto there. Uh, link in the description to follow me on there. I did see this fragrance get talked about and mentioned. And the reason why, the reason why it's got hype in the community uh, well, not hype, but the reason why people know about this fragrance in the first place is because of the note list on this thing. There are some crazy notes in here. So I think uh, before I spray it on my, my hand and actually give you um, my first thoughts, let's go through the note breakdown of this thing. And then you'll see why my reaction is the way it is whenever I first spray this. So like I said, it is the strangest fragrance in the world. Like <laughs> we're going to go through the top notes of this thing, first of all, like what are these top notes? The first one is credit cards. What, why is it a credit card? Like what does credit card even smell like? Plastic? I, I don't know. Uh, whiskey, obviously that's actually a, a quite a traditional note in, in fragrances. Whiskey, okay. And snow. Uh, I've never really seen the note of snow uh, listed in fragrances before, but you know, I have smelt snow before. It doesn't really have a smell. Uh, which is quite a strange top note. The middle notes, this is where it gets a little bit weirder. You've got money, candle wax, and ink. <laughs> money as in like cash, money, uh, paper, I guess. Candle wax, it might have like a waxy smell. And then ink is, uh, is another weird one. Uh, and then the base notes of this thing is where it gets very strange. <laughs> this is probably the weirdest note listing I've ever seen. The first thing in the base notes is a plastic bag. Like, why, how have they managed to get the essential oil uh, or managed to get a smell of a plastic bag? The next one is priest clothes. What? How, 
I didn't even know priest clothes even have a distinct smell. Holy water, again, another weird one. I've never seen that listed before. And actually there's only one other fragrance on Fragrantica that actually lists the note of holy water. And then the final three notes on here that are actually semi-normal uh, are precious woods, olibanum, which is quite a, quite a normal one, and sacra resin green. I have no idea what sacra resin green is. I'm going to find out what that actually is. Okay, so yeah, like the name says, it's a resin. It's a balsamic sort of smell. And it's only listed in two fragrances on Fragrantica. Uh, and it looks like it's um, an Eastern European kind of note. So as you can see, this is a very strange fragrance. Like, I don't even know what this thing's going to smell like. How is a credit card going to mix with whiskey? How is it going to mix with priest clothes? Uh, so what is this fragrance going to smell like, right? <laughs> it's going to smell weird. So... I suppose um, we are going to get a fresh spray on this and I'm going to give you my initial thoughts on this fragrance. And we're going to go through the top notes, we're going to wait a while, go through the middle notes and then go through the base notes and see what we're getting at each stage. So we're going to start off with the top notes and we're going to spray this here on my hand and we're going to get my initial thoughts on Anarchist A by Toscavat, the strangest fragrance in the world. Okay, so let's just spray a fresh spray on here. Okay, I've just sprayed it. And oh my, Jesus, oh my God. Wow, okay, that, wow. I can, the, se <laughs> the second I sprayed this thing on, I just got hit with like a bomb, like a grenade of whiskey has just gone off. Oh my God, that is like the driest whiskey note in the world. That is like if someone has just come right up to your nose and just poured an entire glass of the driest whiskey. Wow, that is, it's almost making my nose dry how dry that, that whiskey note is. It almost smells leathery how dry that whiskey note is. Oh man. It's been about 15 seconds and I'm still just smelling a whiskey note. I'm not detecting any other notes in this. Um, there definitely is that whiskey top note. They weren't lying about that. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds into the dry down. And I can smell a little bit of a plasticky note, which could be that credit card note. Uh, but mainly I'm getting like an inkiness as well. So I'm getting like a plasticky whiskey ink smell for the first kind of 30 to, to one minute mark. And I'll tell you what, apart from that first 15 seconds of just an atomic bomb of a whiskey note, as that kind of opening sort of wearing off, it's actually not that bad of a fragrance, I will be honest. Again, like I said, the whiskey note is still very harsh, uh, but most whiskey notes are in, uh, in men's fragrances. The performance though, I can smell it from like this far away and actually, uh, to be honest, it's it's nuked in my entire room with the smell of uh, a whiskey note. Okay, so it's been about five minutes since I've sprayed this on my skin. And I've had a bit of time, I've walked around my house a little bit. So I've had a bit of time with this on my skin now, about five minutes. And strangely enough, I'm now struggling to detect that whiskey note. The whiskey note is actually faded quite quickly. Um, it's strange how with fragrances, how notes can just come and go. And this fragrance, uh, the actual whiskey note, has definitely um, gone into the background now. It is still there. Like, I can still detect that, like, that dryness that you get from whiskey. And it has got a booziness in here still. But it's now developing into a plasticky sort of smell. Yeah, I am definitely getting... Um, Almost like a like a fake leather belt or like a fake uh, leather wallet smell is what you get. Like a plastic, you know like how you get um, like a fake plasticky belt and you know it's not real. It's like a fake leather. Uh, that is what I'm smelling really from this. And that could be a mixture of the really dry whiskey note as well as the credit card and plastic bag note, which again, I'm still laughing how strange that is. There is also like a, like a dryness in here. I would say I'm getting like a tiny little bit of... Tom Ford ombre leather and that's just from like the dryness that you get from this uh, like I said it has got like a plasticky fake leather smell okay so about 10 minutes in now and uh, I've just come back to uh, to film this now I'm getting like a kind of like uh similar to like with the money note that's in here I am getting like a kind of 
dirty sort of smell in here, which could be, from what I think, it could be uh, that kind of cash money note that, uh, that they mention. And I'm definitely detecting the ink in here now, actually thinking about it. It's as if someone's just like spilt a bunch of ink into a plastic bag full of money and credit cards and shaking it up really violently whilst drinking uh, some whiskey on the side. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that ink and papery smell in here as well as like the plastic. Again, the whiskey, dry whiskey note is still in here. It's kind of like keeping uh, all those other notes together. I am yet to smell the priest clothes, the holy water um, and the sacra resin green. Um, I do get like a slight resiny smell in here. And a little bit of actually like a waxy, uh, yeah, like, like, like what it says, like a, like a candle wax I'm actually getting in here. It is a little bit waxy. Um, okay. And to be honest, oh, I did just get a note of uh, the precious woods in here. I've just got a woody smell going on now. The closer I get, I cannot detect the snow note in here at all. But on my skin now, it's kind of developed into uh, a boozier, drier, more kind of oody sort of smell of Tom Ford's ombre leather. Okay, so um, I'm about to go around my girlfriend's house and I'm going to get her and her mum to uh, get their initial reaction to this thing. Usually, um, they don't like any of my fragrances. Uh, they usually like, like the fresh ones, like um, Percival by Perfumes de Mali, uh, Creed de Rolfe. Um, I know that the ones that they don't like are the darker ones, uh, stuff like Journeyman, Overture Man. Uh, so this is gonna be uh, quite an interesting one to see what they think. I don't know, maybe they liked it, maybe they didn't like it. <laughs> but someone who appreciates fragrances, uh, not just for the smell, but the notes and stuff in here. I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. Um, and I know it said at the start, this is a unisex fragrance. I, I'm not detecting that at all. I'm mainly just getting a very uh, manly, woody, candle waxy, whiskey smell. Okay, so it's been about an hour and the fragrance has slightly died down a little bit. It's turned more into uh, a candle waxy smell. Uh, the whiskey's still there, that's still holding up strong. But it's turned into a very plasticky smell now. Um, I'm definitely detecting that credit card note that they're on about. In terms of longevity and projection, um, just from my testing from an hour in, I'm getting this from like an entire arm's length away. I can still smell this thing. From what I've seen online, what most other people say about this fragrance is that they get anywhere between seven to 12 hours plus in terms of longevity. And just from the smell of this fragrance, like that plasticky note, that whiskey note, the woodsy note, the dryness in here, I can definitely see this thing lasting for over 12 hours and just lingering around for a very long time just because of how dry it is. Uh, in terms of sillage, uh, this is actually quite a strange one. There's very mixed reviews on this thing. Like I said, for the first hour, I'm getting this at like an arm's length away. The first um, minute of this fragrance, whenever you spray it, it covers my entire room. <laughs> uh, a grenade of whiskey note goes off. Some people are saying this is intimate, which sits like really close to their skin. But the majority vote by the looks of it, uh, this is going on strong uh, to fill an entire room. Like I said, this did fill my entire room and it is still projecting at an arm's length. So I'm gonna say that this is anywhere between um, like shoulder length to like an arm's length, let's say, just to be safe. In terms of gender, most people are agreeing with me that this is um, more of a manly scent. If this thing lightened up a little bit more, I could definitely see a female wearing this, but there's a darkness in here, probably the whiskey, that just, um, it's just keeping it manly for me. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Unless this thing lightens up, this is definitely more of a manly smell, I would say. Price value, I can uh, tell you this firsthand. It is way overpriced. Um, I paid for a two mil decant. I paid uh, 18 pounds and uh, I literally only did that so I could film this video. So yeah, please drop a like on this video. Please subscribe. The seasons and stuff I can see you wearing this. Winter, only the winter when it's outside and it's snowing. That's the only time I can see this thing working. And as this fragrance like sort of develops a bit more 
Um, it's kind of painting a picture in my head, which I'll talk about uh, in just a bit. Uh, really quickly though, uh, I've just come down onto the comments on Fragrantica to see what other people's thoughts of this are. And this is just too good. So we're going to read a few uh, different things from what people have said. I think I'm just going to get like a serious review that someone's written uh, just first and get that out of the way. Uh, and then we'll go on to the funny ones. So the first serious review that someone said about this is it actually smells good. Like a church with a lot of candle wax, but in an inoffensive, mysterious way. Uh, and to be honest, I can probably agree with that uh, so far. Though I can't smell any snow or credit cards or plastic bags in here, the projection and longevity is beastly, amazing, so 30 mil variant is more than enough for a season or two. Uh, if you want to smell like a priest or something other mysterious cultist, this is your must have. And it is given like a kind of old man kind of vibe actually, now that they've said that. Or like a, a priest kind of smell. <laughs> Uh, okay, so moving on to a few of the more uh, funny comments. Uh, I'm so glad I no longer have to choke out the local priest with a plastic bag while stealing his credit cards, just so I can get a good whiff. <laughs> Another comment says, Smells like a snowy day on the way to church with all your money and credit cards donated to the church, but if you were standing under a candle wax and ink pipes that had leaked and dripped into the bag before being baptised by a weird priest who had whiskey on his breath. <laughs> Uh, and funny enough, that's actually not too far from like the story that I was painted in my head. I had that you're in the middle of the winter time, and um, you've just gone and um, taken all of your fake leather clothes, and you've just gone to get baptised by uh, like a really old priest or something like that. Uh, that's the the picture I had in my head. Uh, okay, so another comment says they blended a mother priest into the bowl, <laughs> and then they put a, a skull image. <laughs> So it looks like another actual serious comment here. Uh, this fragrance opened up with a blast of plastic bags with some whiskey hiding behind it. Over the course of time, this fragrance will dry down to a much more pleasant aromatic scent, which is hard to describe, which yeah, after the kind of one hour mark, that's similar to what I'm getting, like a kind of um, almost kind of waxy aromatic resinous smell is what I'm getting now. Yeah, the waxiness is definitely coming out in this thing now. This fragrance evokes the feeling of one being present in a corrupt church or a cult where many financial transactions are taking place. <laughs> a truly unique fragrance that has a story to tell with it. This fragrance be pulled off, but I feel only see a punk or heavy goth pulling this off. They're definitely not wrong. Um, I thought that this was my most gothic fragrance. Amouage Interlude Black Iris. There's now a new winner uh, and it's definitely Anarchist Day. This is the most gothic fragrance uh, that I think I've actually smelled. It does definitely give me like, you know, satanic ritual uh, by a priest <laughs> um, kind of vibe. This thing, let me just smell this. Yeah, this, even though it has got like a kind of waxiness to it um, and like a very kind of incense -y smell, this takes the cake. This completely blows this thing out of the water in terms of gothicness. So there are just a few of the comments uh, from what other people have said about this fragrance. In the real world, where could I actually see you wearing this? Would I recommend you pick this up? Um, I mean, in terms of like normal fragrances and stuff, no. Uh, I could not see you wearing this every single day. This is definitely a more kind of artistic sort of side of fragrances rather than getting compliments and wearing it daily and stuff like that. That's the type of fragrance that you were uh, that you were expecting with this. It's not going to happen. Um, stick to like Bleu de Chanel and uh, Louis Vuitton, Imagination, Percival, that kind of thing. This fragrance is very dark. It's very strange. Is it full bottle worthy? Probably not. I'm actually quite glad I didn't decide to pick up an entire bottle of it, uh, and I just got a little sample of this thing. Um, I mean. I think only like one spray uh, is needed for this thing. It definitely has the potential to choke people out because of how strong it is. If you wanted to, you could actually probably clear out a room if you sprayed like three or four of this and that whiskey you note know, is just going to like travel across like the entire room that you've sprayed it in. Honestly, I could probably only see you wearing this in a very cold, possibly snow uh, afternoon or nighttime. Don't wear it. Do not wear this in the summer, in the day when it's hot. You would actually probably. Oh God, no! I I could not see you wearing this in the summer. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance. Um, maybe to a date. Like I mean, like I said, this is four hours into the dry down now. 
and it's kind of it is turning into an almost pleasant smell that first 30 minutes uh, were very plasticky very harsh uh, mainly from the whiskey and the plastic note but it's now drying down to a something quite woodsy uh, a little bit plasticky uh, and very inky and waxy but from my experience i actually do quite like this fragrance i will be honest i would never wear it outside but from like an artistic point of view it's quite cool i will be honest uh, and this brand Toscavat, they do a lot of other fragrances with weird notes in it uh, i'd be more than happy to actually do them for videos if uh, that's something you guys would like to see uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below don't forget to drop a like on this video don't forget to subscribe and like i said at the start of the video i do have a decanting course that teaches you everything there is to know to actually decant fragrances like this and not have to pay for them out of pocket and grow a huge collection like this without spending hardly any of your own money then i will leave a link to that down in the description below it's only 10 pounds and you can literally make that back after like one or two decant sales uh, like that so if that sounds like something you guys would be interested in it will be the first line in the description below i can't believe i've gone out and bought this free youtube video man <laughs> uh, so thank you guys all for watching and i'll see you all next time goodbye